and don't lose hope keep going you know you are so close to the solution and Allah that concentration for <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose. I mean, it's not wearing a hijab, so I'm gonna do this. Got some fall. Okay. It's made of uh, fava beans. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite, all time favorite. Isn't it? Then we've got some hummus, scrambled <laughs> eggs, a bit of herbs, onions, tomatoes, salt and pepper. This is really easy. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> Hannah, did you see my jog that I went on? Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that like, yeah, I saw it. Thank you. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. So welcome back to my second Ramadan vlog. Um, it is, I don't even know what day it is, it's going so fast already. I am currently at, well, I'm going horse riding. I'm really excited for today's lesson. I feel like last lesson I was a little bit nervous about the new cantering technique that we were doing, which is like basically sprinting with a horse it's a step up from trotting which is like jogging essentially and yeah i was a bit nervous horses can sense that so i think the horse that i was on carrie could sense that i was a bit nervous and wasn't doing anything that i told her to do today i'm just gonna go in there with authority put my foot down from the moment i enter um, but i'll show you guys like how i how i set up i'm a bit early i've got like 15 minutes so i'll show you guys how i get in and like how everything's decided how i get a horse and everything hopefully you guys will get to see that i come every single week it's a 12 week course i did 12 weeks already and this is the second 12 weeks so this is the fourth or fifth month of me on this course um so yeah i'll show you guys how it goes the first thing you do is grab a hat this one is my size have to wear it to protect yourself obviously and then here are the boots but i don't wear the boots i like to wear my own hey little man what's up hmm? <laughs> this is a typical horse that i would ride one of these big ones either this one or like sally hey sally hey hey okay <laughs> um i think i had cider last time which is this horse here This is the feed room and in this room you can see that you've got all of the equipment that they need. So the saddles and then oh, you've got the saddles, you've got the stirrups here. Yeah, so everything's here for each horse individually basically. The list of how you know where which horse to get. So for example for my lesson, here are the horses that are available. I've done I had Carrie last week. I've used Cashmere Chunky Cider before Dylan and Highland. Oh, such a cute horse. This is my get up. Some jeans, some riding boots, and something to keep me warm. Because it might be raining. Just finished. Oh my gosh, that was exhilarating. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the fifth day i think i'm not sure anymore but yeah i just got home from work and i'm actually going back out because i need to go and collect a package guys this is the kind of thing that makes me super super excited you'll see in a second but this is what i'm wearing this is what i wore to work minus these shoes i wore this i don't know if you can i don't know how well i don't know how well you can see it but it's like a wool kind of top and it's in it's from cos and it's like a size 16 i got it huge because i thought it'd be nicer if it was like longer and a bit more baggier and then just my culottes from Un uniqlo this package is monumentous i'm so excited to get this honestly it is a calligraphy set now i went to a calligraphy class about i think four months ago i met this really really cool calligrapher so i got this set from amazon i'll leave a link for it down below it's some paper so this is just some calligraphy paper i think the quality is supposed to be slightly thicker so the, the ink doesn't leak through the calligraphy pens as well and it comes with one two three four five different sizes i also got this tablet which the pen goes in when you're not writing i also got a pen holder it's like bamboo it's all really good quality as well you can tell that it's it's really well um, made and it's handmade as well so it's this is some silk which you actually pop into your jar where the ink goes and what this does is it stops the pen from bleeding too much oh my god that is so soft this feels beautiful what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put enough ink so that it just soaks the, the silk up so then if you do spill this 
little jar then you're not spilling lots of ink um it's kind of like holding it i guess i cannot wait to use this and by the way i used all of these tools on that day which is why i feel quite familiar with it last but not least the actual ink so this is a black ink which is um i think it's just a standard black ink it's quite dark um and that's it so it came in this big box and i'm really excited about this i'm so so excited about this i've just been i've ever since i went on that no before i was on that course i did a bit of calligraphy before and i've always had an interest in it and then when i went on the course i was just in love and i came back and i felt so I felt like it, I went to. I felt like I went to therapy. I felt like I had just spent three hours pondering over the words of Allah. Like you actually think about it, you're spending hours and hours pondering over these letters and trying to perfect them, and you'll never get it to perfect. But the fact that you're just in that state, and um, you're not listening to music, you're not listening to anything, you're just trying to focus and get those words and those letters perfectly written on this sheet of paper that in itself is meditation so yeah i am really excited to in ramadan to to get started with this because hey everyone good morning it is day five today and it is saturday which is amazing because we actually got a light in today right now it is i think half past four in the afternoon we didn't get out of bed until like midday and that is not like us at all but we just thought you know what let's just make up the debt sleep debt that we've been suffering from this whole week and yeah i'm just wearing this jumpsuit i love the jumpsuit i love how it has like a kind of blazer like design on the top and the collar and then it goes down into a very straight leg which i like but yeah i really like it. i don't wear it enough i always forget that i own it and then i'm like oh yeah i've got this white jumpsuit let me go and get it okay hey, just say hi just say hi like a normal person hi like a normal person <laughs> Hi. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is the coat that I ended up going for. You're in my way. Excuse me, sir. You're no. in my sir. No. Sir, you're in my way. Sir, no. don't stand there like a rock. <laughs> can you? <laughs> can you actually move? Can you? Oh, you know what? I'm All right. Humble yourself. <laughs> humble myself. Yeah. You're telling me to humble myself. You're recording yourself. <laughs> like, this is what I'm going to do. This is not what I look like. <laughs> That's not my idea, it's not what I look like. It is such a beautiful day today. Did not expect this. I brought my big coat and so because of that I'm actually really warm. So I had to carry it. <sighs> okay. Are we setting up? We are recording the second ep no, the fourth episode of our podcast. Um Fourth. Wow. Yeah. I haven't introduced today. Today's the seventh day of Ramadan. Sunday is this, yeah. no sixth day tomorrow. No wait, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, seventh day. Oh, yeah. Seventh day fasting. Yeah, it is currently seven p.m. So I haven't been vlogging at all today. But what, what were we doing? Literally, we've just been. Well, I was on live on YouTube for like an hour and a half, um, and then what were you doing? Well, we've been on our laptops doing some yeah. uh, doing some work. Doing some work. Yeah. Some okay. Top secret work. Top secret work. Okay. Let's 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 um record our podcast um, so yes yeah, so what we usually do for our podcast is we usually have like a little a list of um, topics that we've kind of talked about throughout the week already because the whole kind of aim of the podcast is to be continued conversations basically so we think about what the conversations we talked about um in the week that we think we could elaborate on a bit more mm. and yeah got a few ideas so um don't forget to follow us on our podcast which is available on all platforms so on apple Spotify, um, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Yeah. Hey everyone, and hey welcome everyone. to our fourth episode of Oh By the Way Pod. Da -da 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 -da. Can't believe it's been a month already. Have we been, have we been doing it every day for no, a month? No, every week for months. There's one. There was one week that we missed a week, I think. But yeah, otherwise it's been a month, which is amazing. So hey, everyone that's new and joined us since um, last week, and hey to everyone that's new and joining us this week. So uh, my name's Amina. We have to do this. My name is Amina. <laughs> my name is Mohammed. But the thing is, what I was, what I was, what I was saying, what, what I was thinking was, if you think about it, right, the amount of time we spend doing random stuff and procrastinating, like the amount of time I spend watching YouTube, right, a lot of it I feel like I, in my head I'm like, oh, it's market research, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at what's out there to be able to think about the videos that I can create. So now that I've cut that kind of things, those things out, because of Ramadan, I'm like, okay, let me just tone it down a little bit. I feel like I've got more time. I'm not stopping anything that I'm doing. 
So that's why I have a different mentality. Just replacing like, it I'm just replacing better. it with other things, mm. and I still have time to chill. Like right now, we're recording a podcast. I'm, I vlog. I make videos, and I feel like to me, the month isn't a month where you drop everything and just do nothing. Mm. The month is where you become more proactive. You become more present, and you change your habits to become um, a better person spiritually. And that's how I how I see it. The lecturer was saying um, something like how Muslims in general in life we have to work twice as hard as ev mm. like everyone else because we want the best of this world and we mm. want the best of the hereafter mm. so if you want the best jobs, if you want the best careers, if you want the best like lifestyle we have to we have to achieve the same way everyone else does mm. but also on top of that we have to we, we want the best uh, in the hereafter so you have to strive for that yeah. as well so it's like we have to do double, double the work yeah. 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 You then need to make sure that your fillets are completely dry so just on a wet towel on a dry towel even and then what i do is i just have like a spare pl uh, plate here and then i grab the fish and then i just put like a few kind of like two tablespoons onto it and just literally just rub it in like that If you want the house to stop smelling of fish yeah. or to be odour free, you just uh, roast some fil some fils of coffee. <laughs> roast, it in, roast it in a pot like this. Yeah. Let it burn for a bit or roast whatever, and then just take it around half like this. <laughs> You've literally been doing that for the past like 20 minutes. <laughs> Should we do like a should we do an um, uh, Ifbar podcast? Oh, is that really choice? We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it right now. It's recording. <laughs> have you pressed record? Yeah. Yeah, I have. This plantain is so good. Hey everyone, welcome to my vlog today. I am currently preparing for a guest that's coming over. It's our first time hosting Iftar for someone, so it's really exciting. And it's really special because um, she's a friend of mine that I actually met on Instagram. As you guys have seen, I made a chicken, well, my husband actually made it, but chicken um, bake with like roast, chicken roast even, with lots of veg. And then we've also got a fruit platter and we're about to make some plantain and then we're gonna make it with couscous. So the same recipe that you saw me, me make yesterday. So this is the couscous that I've made. What are you making? Hmm? What are you making? Some plantain. Plantain. Tin. We have a plantain. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a plantain. Is it plantain or is it plan? How do you say it? Tin. Plantain. The actual Caribbean West Africans that have plantain in their diet, please let us know. Is it plantain, plantain or is it plantain? I say plantain. I don't know where you got plantain from. I actually don't know. Okay, so we've got some plantain over there, and then we've got couscous, um, potatoes, veg, chicken, whatever, and then we've got the, um, what's it called? Fruit platter. Fruit platter. <laughs> Fruit platter. The smoothie. And then, yeah, here we go. Hey everyone, it is Thursday. I don't think I've filmed since my friend came over, which was Monday. <laughs> it's been a while. So right now my setup looks like this, so my camera's just there. Basically, this is the chair, and um, yes, yeah, so I just thought I would end this vlog here because um, I don't think, yeah, this this is ending up 
this is ending up being a whole week as opposed to half a week but i don't really do anything like honestly i feel like this year this year i've kept it really simple i feel like last year i was a lot more excited and ambitious with what i was to do in the evenings and i was like booking restaurants and i was going to like iftar parties and i was like going to Ramadan tent all the time and i feel like I, I did so much more last year but this year i feel like i've been focusing a lot more on work and a lot more on like just personal development so i've kind of dedicated less time to doing social activities does that make sense um so yeah it's been like i think today's the 11th day not mistaken yeah i think this is the 11th day and i haven't gone out anywhere yet so yeah and i'm cool with that like i'm it's not great for the vlogs <laughs> but i'm okay with that i hope that this vlog was of interest to you um it is thursday today so i am horse riding again tonight and i'll be taking you guys with me again so tomorrow i'm going to ramadan tent for iftar so yeah i'm starting to like get out there a bit because i've like i've because i've now spent 10 days not doing anything so i'm hoping that the second third of Ramadan will be a bit more eventful. Don't forget to follow our podcast as well, which is Oh By The Way. It's available across um, any listening platform. <laughs> what do you call them? Platforms, I guess. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.